So uh, the, the first topic we'll talk about is care for creation. Uh, today is the first class uh, of our presentations. And I put the title, Care for Creation and a Goat. Okay, I thought it was sort of like a funny title. Uh, and we'll soon know who the goat was and why is the goat here. But first I want to present why this matters, right? Why does a goat matter? So we read about environmental destruction all the time, right? We can talk about the Colorado River that has not seen the ocean for like 25, 30 years. About half of that water from the river goes to feeding livestock. Uh, this was in the New York Times, I think in June. Uh, we can talk about the destruction of the Amazon rainforest. About 63% of the destruction of the rainforest is because we want more pasture for animal grazing. We can talk about greenhouse emissions of different kinds of food. And we can talk about, you know, how our food affects global warming or climate change. We can talk this about this till the cows come home, right? Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. But instead, instead, I want to talk about a little girl and her goat. Why? Because when we care for creation, we think of creation as this vast amorphous entity, right? There's this thing out there, creation. We need to care for creation. Care for the earth. How pretentious is that? Here I'm one person and the earth is so big and I'm supposed to care for the earth. Most of the time I feel like my actions don't matter for the better or the worse, right? I'm just one person out of 8 billion people and you think of the earth as how large it is, what does it matter? Like the earth is just so big that it's pretentious for me to think about I'm going to care for the earth. Other times we think about care for creation mainly because this entity creation or nature can be destructive if I don't care for it, right? So if I don't care for the earth in terms of climate change, it will affect me. There'll be a fire, there'll be a hurricane. If I don't care about water, I have to drink contaminated water, I'll get cancer, right? It's a very transactional idea. So I wouldn't care about nature or the earth if the earth did not bother me. That's kind of like implied in that sense. I only care because it affects me. If the earth did not affect me, I wouldn't care, right? So I think a little story uh, about a girl and her goat will put a face to creation. This beautiful creation that involves creatures who have stories of their own, right? We are all human, we like stories, and we sang this during our first STM Mass on Thursday, if you were there. This was uh, the entrance, uh, the processional hymn. It said, nourish us with your sacred story till we claim it as our own, right? We are more than just minds who just make logical arguments, right? If I make logical arguments, they will just be cold facts that bounce off our stony exteriors, right? If we don't care about something, it doesn't matter. Facts have no power over us if we don't care. That's just a reality. Uh, we could make all sorts of cold logical arguments, but it wouldn't matter. So I think what makes us care is a good story, a sacred story of love and compassion because we want to be part of a good story. Perhaps we, we will want to be part of this story of this little girl and her goat, a story of love, connection, greed, violence, and ultimately heartbreak. So spoiler alert, there's heartbreak, but will there be hope? So as a goat, and as a little girl, what happens? A nine-year-old girl did, did not want her goat slaughtered. California fair officials sent deputies after it. So I was living in California before I came to Boston. This was earlier this year. Uh, the state fair scene picks up in spring and early summer in California. So this was the headline in the Los Angeles Times. This news story was carried by numerous outlets, okay, both left-leaning, right-leaning. It also made an opinion piece in the Sunday New York Times a few weeks later about what the story meant a girl and her goat. When hundreds of millions of animals are slaughtered every day, why does the slaughter of a single goat make headlines? So here are some facts. 
Jessica Long, an adult woman, purchased the goat for her nine-year-old daughter to enter into the 4-H program with the Shasta District Fair. Shasta County is in Northern California. When it was time for Cedar, the goat to be sold and slaughtered at the Shasta Fair last year, the nine-year-old just could not go through with it. So this 4-H program is basically like a year or two year long program. You get a, a small animal and then the program teaches you to care for the animal, but there's an understanding that the animal is not yours, it belongs to the fair or the county. And so there's some sort of agreement there. So when the nine-year-old couldn't go through with the slaughter long, the mother uh, pleaded for the fair to make an exception and to let her and her daughter take Cedar back. Instead, officials reached out to the Shasta County Sheriff's Office armed with a search warrant. The detectives drove all the way to Napa and Sonoma, which is like 500 miles away from Shasta, to find the goat. They caught the goat and Cedar was taken and slaughtered. Okay, this was the news story uh, about, and that became big in California. Uh, must have reached out here as well since the New York Times caught it. So, a girl and her goat. Why does this matter? A care for God's creation. That's always good to hear. Love for neighbor. Very Christian. So, care and love. So, did this particular goat deserve care and love? Do other goats deserve care and love? Do other animals deserve care and love? How can we care for animals and love animals? Animals being slaughtered shouldn't be news to us. After all, we participate and contribute to animals being slaughtered all the time, multiple times a day. It is a given in our society. Speaking from personal experience, it's impossible to go through a day without seeing signs of animal slaughter, right? The food that you eat, the clothes that you wear, your friend invites you to go fishing, you see billboards around you, someone talks about alligator hunting as the best possible sport out there. There are all sorts of things all the time. This is personal experience. The alligator thing came up actually this past weekend. We were talking about things to do in the South and someone said alligator hunting is the best possible thing out there. It is not possible to go through a day without thinking about animal slaughter. But why does this one particular goat make so much of a difference? We cannot have our goat and eat it too, right? So, I modified this from the Bible. When the Son of Man comes, will he find kindness and compassion on earth? A little girl and her goat. A story of love, connection, greed, violence, and ultimately heartbreak. Where do I fit in? What do I want to do about this? What is my sacred story? We can discuss. Thank you.